Hello and welcome to another Marty's Matchbox Makeovers unboxing video. Midweek, an MMMM, Marty's Midweek Matchbox. No, oh, anyway, I've got six packages here. I'll try and get through them all, but if it goes too long because they're quite big, I might just do the five or maybe even just four, but we'll see how we go. So, this first one, I've put them in order of when they've been posted. So some of these are getting quite old now and I'm trying to rush through them to get them get them out of the way because I'm sure the people that send them are going, where the hell is my package? Well, this could be it here today. I've lost my glasses. That's better. Right, this one here is from Victoria Mooreshead from Toronto, which I believe is in Canada, but it does say on. Does that mean Ontario? Is that all Canada it is, isn't it? So it's a Canadian related item and then I shall open them up post haste and it looks like these are some really useful things <laughs> let's have a look dear Marty you mentioned in your video of the June the 12th that you wanted more magnetic brackets please find and close two magnetic brackets I hope they're strong enough for your purposes. I'm a big fan of your videos and your humour, Victoria Mooreshead. And she's got a beautiful signature there. I'd show it to you, but I don't know. She might not want to see her name written. But, uh, yeah. Oh, they... <laughs> well, as I said before, I cannot get enough of these. And if you watch my next uh, makeover video, you'll see exactly why. I'm doing a big truck and trailer, and I've used every clamp I own. So they are always... You can never have enough. <laughs> I said it once, I'll say it again. And these ones are Big Lug brand. Big Lug brand. They look quite good. They're very good. Very high quality. Heavy. Heavy action and magnetic. Which are, they're just brilliant. Thank you very much, Victoria. I shall add them to my toolkit. Okay, uh, number two. Now this one here is a bit of a mystery. I have no idea who it's from. It actually says it's from unknown on my cheat sheet there. And there is a letter in there, but I can't remember how I came upon it. It must have been in the box. Maybe somebody opened the box and I said, stop, don't open it any further. We've got to make a video on this. And I think that's probably what happened. So let's have a look. I'm intrigued. <laughs> it's been super clear. <laughs> wow, that is one tough lid. <laughs> Surely not. Has someone super glued that on as a joke? <laughs> oh my god, I can't get it off. There we go. God, blimey. That is one tough lid. <laughs> I thought someone was playing a prank there. Right, let's have a look at this letter in here. It's from Jerry in Bristol in the UK. Hi Marty there. These are some vehicles I promised you. Sorry it took so long getting them to you. We've been busy sorting things out as we're moving house. Anyway, I put the lorries I set about and a few cars. Hope these will be all right for you to restore or customize. Always great to watch your videos. Keep up the great work. Jerry from Bristol in the UK. All right, Jerry, let's have a look. Oh, this is a big one. And I've got a lunch container to take my lunch to work in as well, which is also good. Oh, one of the old favourites, the Sight Hut truck. Look at that. I've been, I keep putting these on the back burner. I'm going to do it, then something else comes along and I go, damn it, I should do it. That's a classic. I've actually got one of those. I bought a uh, reproduction site hut for that one i'll have to get another one now oh now this is unusual i've never seen this this looks like a studebaker variant or something it is a studebaker wagonaire but it looks like a later model for some reason but look at that it's got the is that got a sliding roof or is that just in there it looks like that doesn't slide it's just made to look like it's half open it's got some air horns on the roof which is unusual it must be an ambulance or something it must be an ambulance. Why would it have a hole in the roof? Uh, it did have some stickers on there too. 
It's a super fast, uh, no, it's not, it's a whiz wheels made in Great Britain. So I'll have to do some research into that one. Ah, oh, there is a patient in the back. There is actually a patient in the back there, and he looks like he's smiling. All right, that's good. Jerry from Bristol. This is that big one. It is a big one. Oh, no, it's not. It's two. <laughs> That's why it felt big. It's two in one package. Never seen these before. They look like sight hut trucks again. Although there's something missing. Maybe a shipping container or something. A Volvo. Volvo Matchbox. Lesney England. Uh, they look identical, except that one's red and one's white. Have no idea what they are or where what they should have on them if anything the scale is different too look you can put one truck on that truck it's almost like different scale They're pretty good i have to find out what's missing on the back there what have we got here one two three four five to go this would be the ford gt oh that's a classic car isn't it the ford gt this one here looks a little bit wrecked. I think the transparency is missing on that, uh, amongst other things. Could do with a good clean up. What else we got here? Police car or fire chief's car? Who knows? Oh wow, somebody's played this one to death. It just says Mercury. Number 5 or 73. That's weird. Why would it say that? No, number 59 or 73. That's weird. Why would it have two numbers? Anyone know? Let me know. Some difficult ones there to do. These two especially. What else we got here? Oh, this is a nice colour. Look at that. That must be a, what is that, a BMW? Oh, Jaguar. Jaguar HJ6 Matchbox made in Macau, this one. So this is 1985 doors open. I quite like that colour. That would be difficult for me to replicate. Although, I do have those beautiful colours that somebody sent me. I might have a go at trying a, a metallic finish for a change. I haven't done many up to this stage. I've been sticking mainly to the standard uh, Matchbox colours, uh, the old vintage ones. Uh, talking of vintage, have a look at this. What a beauty. It's a little tiny crimped axles. It's got grey wheels. It says Les Lesney, but very difficult to see any other markings on it. Uh, one for. I'm going to have to research. I'm going to have to look in my little book of older models and find out what that one is. It looks like a big Mack truck, really, from the front there, doesn't it? I have no idea what it is. It's strange. It's got like a little tarp on the back there. Perhaps. It's nice though, that's a real classic, that one. One of the classics, I should say. Oh no, talking of classics, we've got a Volkswagen combi van here. Probably the world's most popular vehicle. Uh, this one's white with black trim, and it's got the pop top on it, or the raised roof, so you can stand up without whacking your head on the ceiling. Not a problem for me, because I'm only like five foot tall. And this one here is not a matchbox, but it is instead a um, uh, Maisto, I think. M-A-I-S-T-O. Never even heard of Maisto. Right, this one here. Oh dear. Both doors ripped off. Paint scheme destroyed. Wheels bent and buckled. It's the Iso Griffo. Wow, Iso Griffo. I've actually got one of these, but it's a lot older than this one. Mmm. It's still quite detailed, really. And this one, oh, well, it's made in England, that's why. It's super fast. All ones that are made in England seem to have greater detail. So there we go. That's all from Jerry in Bristol in the UK. Fantastic little set there. And I'm intrigued by this one. This one here. In this one. And that one, and that one, and that one. <laughs> In fact, all of them. They're really good. Right, that was good. So, that was, uh, that was Jerry's. Oops. This one's number three, and it's from Craig in the UK. That's all it says, from Craig. And I think it's a UK postal address. I could be wrong. 
Nah, I'm right. I'm pretty sure I'm right. Yeah, look. Postage here. See? It's got the Queen's head on it. It's from England. Okay, that's good. Easy to open package. Wow. Lots of bits and pieces in here. Oh. Oh my goodness. This is going to be a big one. It's going to take me forever to unwrap these. <laughs> Look at that, all individually wrapped. It's going to take me forever. Oh, that's a green bus. Oh, there's no letter in there. And all it says is it's from Craig. Craig in the UK. Let's uh, have a look. Oh, there's a couple of cows in the back of this. Or Yeah, look at that. Brilliant. Never got one of these before. And the fact it's got the cows in it is even better. And, and look at that door opens on the back that's a beauty it's a cattle truck oh the door's cracked that's a shame uh what is it called now matchbox series number 37 look at that it's an unusual chromed plastic base very i think that's the first one i've ever seen chromed plastic base very unusual and i've never seen these before either two twin balls they're both identical twins look. Okay, put that over there. That's good. Never, never got one. I have not got one of those. Is this another? It is. It's another modified sight truck. I'm going to have to buy a job lot of those huts, I think, to finish these off. <laughs> oh, I might have a go. No, you know what? 3D printing. That's the answer. Sight huts. I like that idea. Everyone had a cry. Everyone had one of these. I reckon, this, I reckon everybody who has had Matchbox vehicles had one of these. Has it got a hook on it is the question. Hook or no hook? Drum roll. No hook. So common that the hooks are missing. They just pull out. Wow, that's done some heavy lifting. Look at the slack in that. That is brilliant. That is exactly what I'm after. I mean, I've done one, I've done a few of these. I gave them away. I can't remember who I gave them away to. And they turn out really good. But that one there is going to be even better because it's wrecked. That's all right. I've done one of these. I can do another one. Remember, I printed a 3D windscreen frame and it turned out not too bad, actually. And I was actually anticipating doing another one of these, but like a, in a Willis Jeep type green, you know, American Army themed thing. So that would be cool. Just got to find the time to do it. That's the problem. Oh, this is in good condition. I like that one. I don't think I have to do anything with that one. That can just be cleaned up. The Mercedes Benz number three. That's a very nice example. Yes. Lovely. Even the dome light hasn't been pushed in, which happens all the time on these cars. That's a great one, isn't it? Look at that. I think you're going to... I want see it says police on the bonnet. And somebody sent me a file that they'd made to print some decals for this particular model. And they've done a really mighty fine job, too, of, of making these decals. So I'm going, I've got another one of these I'm going to do. This one here is not too bad. That spoils it a bit, doesn't it? That sticker on that side there, that's a shame. Hmm, to do or not to do, that is the question. Oh, this is the one I did on my last video, I think. Oh, if only I had this the other day, I could have put these wheels on it. Look at this, it's got all the tyres on this one. Funny how they go all sloppy though, isn't it? Look at that there. Wow, why couldn't I have this one last week? I should have opened it a week ago. Okay. That needs some work, definitely. Definitely a makeover right there. Good one. Ah. Uh, Hey, you know what? I've done, I don't think I've done the green one. I think I've done the cream and the red. 
But I don't think I've done the green one, ever. What is this? Look at that thing. It's a beach buggy, it's a barger buggy. Super fast, and something missing on the back there. Don't know what the hell that would be. It's a pretty cool, really, uh, cool car though. Pretty cool car. Oh, I do like that one. If I was a kid now, and I saw that in the shop, I'd want it. A Porsche, of course, 1970s. I would have been eight when that came out. How's about that? Nice colour, beautiful little Porsche, isn't it? Not a lot to do on it, though. Oh, dear. And this one's, that one's weird. Can you see the colour? It's got, like, purple and blue and a massive engine. Oh, and look at that. Aha! It's got a little bit of motion thing happening there where the engine bobs up and down. So that's like a... It is! Is it? A roller matic Yeah, it's a roller matic but small one. Never seen it before, ever. Uh, still working. It's another blue tractor. Can you believe it? I have one, now I've got three. I could have done them all at the same time, couldn't I? Because I had the bait mixed and everything. Right, last one from Craig in the UK. Craig, if you're watching, please... Leave a message on my YouTube channel or send me an email. I'd like to know who you are, where you're from, and to say thank you personally. Right, fire engine. Interesting little model. Uh, a lot of plastic on it. Made in China. And it's a fire engine. With a ladder, probably which might have had more than one section, I'm thinking, in its day. So, thank you, Craig. I've finally got round to opening your package. This one here, for me today, is the most exciting so far, with the balls in the back. I really like that one. Seconded by the green bus. The green bus is going to come up beautiful. Trust me. Okay, this one here is addressed to Marty's Matchbox. <laughs> and it is from De Chata Pita. De Chata Pita, which I imagine means, I don't know, Peter Shutter? It must be the way they spell their names over there. Because uh, this guy is from Kessel in, drumroll, Belgium. That's the first package from Belgium I've ever had. So guess what, chaps? There's going to be a pin on the map. Oh, it's dangerous, isn't it? This unboxing lark. Ah, here we go. Beautiful. What have we got? What treasures shall we behold? Letter. I hope it's not in Belgium. Is that the word? Belgium? Belgique? Marty, I subscribed to you very interesting channel for a while now. And by cleaning up my garage, I found five Matchbox cars that are repainted in my younger years. Hmm. They are from the time before they started to build plastic models. 40 or 50 years ago. Ah, it's very difficult to read his handwriting. The result of that, you can see it on my channel. Oh, Peter Millicento. Huh? Is that what it said? I thought it said Peter Schutter. Ah, Peter de Schutten. Uh, but his, 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 his channel's Peter Millicento. Oh, okay. I think that these models are perfect for restoration. Enjoy it. All right, Peter, thank you from Belgium. Kessel. Have a look. multiple layers of packaging <laughs> right first one about to be revealed stand by people oh 
Oh, it's got the dogs in the back. But it's the super fast version. The Mercury. Do you remember that one with the dogs in the back? I do. It used to be green, I think. Look, you can just make out some green under there. So he's painted that with that horrible drab grey colour for some reason. Funny what kids do, isn't it? <laughs> oh, wow. That's funky. Oh, look at that. How hard would that be to get looking great again? What a challenge. It's supposed to be white, of course. He's painted it pink. Another super fast white one. Police car. Uh, Mercury. Mercury. Station wagon. Sedan. Same, but different. They're good, aren't they? Two emergency vehicles. One with two dogs in the back. And it's a Ford Galaxy police car or fire chief's car, one or the other. And he's painted that one white too. He does, he does like his emergency vehicles. So we've got two police cars, uh, one ambulance, and one station wagon with the dogs in the back. Oh God, I'm getting cramp in my hands. Oh, it's that horrible purple, pink color again. And it's another emergency vehicle, the Ford Galaxy. So I think those two are the same. And those two are the same but different, and that one's different. So there we go. Five examples of super fast era matchbox vehicles that have been painted by their previous owner. So, well, I'm going to have to be dunking those in some paint stripper. Alrighty. No. Oh, no, that's my address. <laughs> I thought this bloke lived next door to me. <laughs> right, this is from Gary Storkamp. 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 He's from Coon Rapids in Minnesota, I think. MN. Is that Minnesota? Could be. I don't really know my US states. Somebody's already had a bash it. Already had a bash it. Look, having nosy mailman again, probably. Oh, oh, looks like it might be a camera, perhaps, I'm guessing. The, oh, unless that's just the box. It's called the Swinger. Oh, yeah, no, oh, oh, wow, it's a big heavy box. Look at that. Goodness me, big heavy box. And no letter. No letter. What can it be? Oh, Polaroid. Model 20 land camera, no less. The Swinger. Let's have a look at this. I don't have one of these. This is an old style Polaroid, I'm thinking. Oh, it's got all sorts of goodies in here. Wow. Wow, it is nothing like the Polaroids that I remember when I was a kid. That's for sure. Oh, there's some some spare supplies there, look, for the, uh, the Dremel. What a great idea. Thank you so much, Gary, that's so thoughtful. Look at that, some, some supplies for the Dremel for removing of the axles or the wheels. That's great. Now, this is nothing like a Polaroid camera I've ever seen before in my life. And I'm not familiar with it whatsoever. But look at that. That just, the color, that ivory colour, the style, the digits, you know, the chunky levers, it just exudes age, doesn't it? I bet you this was the bee's knees when it first came out. Look at that. It's a beauty. Well, I'm going to have to add that to my camera collection now. Behind me, here. I'm going to have to make room to put that in there. That's the first one I've got. I don't know what these are. Let me see what this is. Polaroid print coater. Oh, it's some kind of waxy, uh, oily product on a stick or something. Oh, Ooh. smells a bit funny. Uh, what have we got here? Instructions and another tube of 
I don't know, this one's for black and white pictures only. Right. Wow, there's another strange thing there. Let's see that. Right. Oh, wow, that's, that's very sort of... It's like vinegar. It smells like vinegar. Yeah, interesting. I'll have to have a look at the instruction manual to find out what those are for. So there we go, the Polaroid Land Film Camera Type 20. What a little ripper. I'm here for your... Delectification is the ancient style of instructions that came with it. Ah, brilliant, isn't it? Let's see if I can open it. If I opened it... Uh, yeah, look inside there. That's beautiful. God, this should be in a museum. Excellent. Awesome. Thank you very much. Love it. Going to put it straight in the collection. Blow, I'm blown away. Just awesome. Right, now I've got one more. And this one is from Park Stevens in Springfield, Missouri. And I'm scared to open it because I think... I know what it is. Anyway, oh, how are you supposed to open this? Hmm. Oh, scary stuff. There we go. Ooh. Uh huh. Oh no, I was afraid of that. It's another map, <laughs> and it's a beautiful-looking map of the world. Now what am I going to do? If I start getting maps, could people please tell me what is the best course of action? Should I return to sender or should I maybe donate to a local school? But I don't want to give away gifts because that's a bit rude. But I can't have, I can't wallpaper my house with maps. <laughs> this does look like a little beauty though. Shall I open it up and have a look at it? Oh wow. Oh. It's an unusual one. Look at that. It's a different style of map. I bet you there's a name for it because it's kind of got the countries distorted as in portrayed in a in a kind of a, a sort of on a, as, a, as seen on a globe rather than flat. So it's a beautiful map. National Geographic, the world political map help me out here what am I to do with these maps they are beautiful works of art and uh, very expensive and uh, yeah I'm a bit scared because I've got another couple of tubular type packages to open and I'm thinking I'm gonna have all these maps and I don't know what to do with them and I, I just feel really rotten about it now I've started something that I can't stop you know <laughs> So I'm going to have to roll this one up. I do an appreciate people anticipating what I want. Um, unfortunately, with 100,000 subscribers, there's a, you know, there's a chance that a percentage will come up with the same idea. Uh, I mean, look at the magnetic clamps. How crazy was that when they started coming in? And now I'm going to be inundated with maps. That's my biggest fear. So, uh, yeah. And I really do appreciate the fact that people have gone out of their way to buy these things with their own money and then mail them off to me. And it's uh, very humbling. But also puts me in a bit of a dilemma. Park Stevens, if you're watching this, please contact me and tell me what you would like me to do with this map. I can send it back to you if you like. Or I could donate it to a good cause. Please let me know your thoughts. Uh, there are several schools in the area. Just across the road there, there's a couple. Um, but it uh, shouldn't be up to me to decide to give away things that have been gifted to me, I feel. So that's back in there. Now, uh, that concludes this week's unboxing. I've just got to put the pins in. Join me over here at the pin board, at the map. At the map board, at the map pin board. <laughs> Right, Toronto, here we go.
Um, there, is that Toronto there? There we go. I hope that's near where you're from, Victoria. Now, the next one is Minneapolis, Gary Store Camp with that beautiful camera. Minneapolis, which is, we all know where Minneapolis is. Top center, there's another one there. There's a few now coming in from Minneapolis. Look at that, there we go. That's Jerry. No, that's Gary. Now we've got Craig and Jerry Bristol from the UK. So I'll put those two in. I've run out of red, red pins. In fact, I'm going to have to get some more pins pretty soon. So we're just going to crowd out the map with two more for Jerry Bristol and Craig, unknown Craig. Chunk. There we go. So this is... Uh, Peter Schatter or Schatter Peter from Kassel in Belgium and we all know where Belgium is because we've all where's Belgium <laughs> here we go Belgium is on the map awesome oh thank you everybody that's great fun doing that you know putting those pins in I can't wait till it's like <sighs> 100 pins so there we go uh, so that concludes this unboxing video for this week so till next time see you later